Sometimes we pick and choose the people that we want to help. It didn't matter, you know, it didn't make a difference who you were. Even, you know, and he didn't help you because he thought that he could get something from you. Uh, he helped you because he knew and he felt in his heart that that was the right thing to do. I always say he walked soft, but he carried a big stick. Mm -hmm. And he made a big print. You didn't hear when, when, when all, everything went down, was said and done, you know he had been by. And that was the kind of man he was. I tell you, my love me, he's my brother. He, he wasn't no brother, mom, he was just a brother. He would always help people. He, he, that's just the way he were, that was him. And uh, I wanna say that we, we just love him, you know, cause he, he was all, he would help anybody, everybody. He just wonderful person. <laughs> to do right and, and, and you just have to quit that this is it 
right here, you know, we got to do this. So that's the way it was. The Crutcher family. We've been knowing Mr. Nova all of my life. And he booked us in Toledo one time. I guess I was about seven. And we were on this big major program. It's about 2,000 people, and we were, like, scary and everything. And Mr. Nova took us all in a little room and kind of pep-talked us, you know. And he said, children, he always would call us children. He said, children, you get out there and praise the Lord. Just don't think about nobody. And when we got there on the stage, he stood in the back of the building. Out of all those people that were there, you could see Mr. Nova standing, giving us his thumb. And I mean, you know, it was just like being in Hollywood or somewhere because he made us feel so special. Oh,